Are you the legal guardian of John Cock? No? Well, maybe you'll want to be the legal guardian of Studio Series Dark of the Moon Laserbeak. That is, in fact, a robot inside somebody's house. So here's the toy. And you may be wondering, why is he a pink bumblebee? Well, you'd have to watch Dark of the Moon, but... The TLDR, Laserbeak had to get some information out of some people. So he turned himself into Bumblebee and then murdered them. Hence the Terminator reference. And this toy, let's be honest, is not the best. Uh, it's not a super good toy. Not uh, Like... Most of the car is on its back. Oh, it's... I bought this specifically for that story because I thought that was such a bizarre thing for the live-action movies to do that I don't even remember it. The only thing I remember from Dark of the Moon is uh, McDreamy. Freaking Patrick Dempsey? He was in it at one point. Oh, yeah, and Sentinel Prime, I guess. So this scene completely blank but I don't know I wanted this toy because it's pink uh, let's take a look at the head sculpt creepy movie bumblebee used to look like this for so long <laughs> the beady eyes now bloodshot red uh, give you a Good perspective. Let's take the gun out of his hand, which totally is a gun, I guess. It's molded in pink plastic. That's cool. The only other movie B I have is this guy, the um, Age of Extinction. Forget what version this is. So I've never had an actual Camaro Bumblebee, which is weird considering the movies have been around since 2000. Frickin' seven. Uh, articulation, ball joint, ball joint, ball joint, ball joint, hinge, and a hinge. So small, I doubt you could even see that. Let's do it again. Ball joint on a frickin' hollow head. That's uh, not working. Ball joint, ball joint, ball joint, hinge, and a hinge. No waist, no wrist, although the elbow does kind of count as a wrist swivel. Um, there's not much to say, I guess. It's pink. It's pink. And uh, obviously no Decepticon or Autobot symbol because he's incognito. He's disguising himself. You know, more than meets the eye. Uh, I wish the bumper actually locked in place. I don't know. I don't know what more you could actually want from a toy this size. I don't have another Corecast figure in robot mode right now. To give you a, oh, uh, Legends class, old Titans Return, Brawn. He's actually a little bit smaller. So let's transform him. Uh, start. Kind of, you, you want to flip the hood up, but there we go. The backpack, you just kind of, you just kind of get them out of the way of each other, hopefully. Fold the feet and lock them in place. Pl plug them together and plug them into the roof. At that point, you can fold his head down into its hollow chest cavity where his heart should be appropriate for a Decepticon. How can you be so heartless? You want to rotate the wheels and the arms so they end up into the cavity like that. And then the door, which side? The door will actually plug in to the wrist. 
you know, so have to make sure the legs are tucked in as much as they can be. So rotate, make sure it's plugged in, and plug the door in. And there you have a nice hot pink Camaro. Man, I love the color on this thing, even in vehicle mode. The pink and black is such a nice combination. Here's shout outs to Brett the Hitman Hart. But like, I swear I see so many Camaros every day in the parking garage at work. Like silver ones, black ones, maybe not a pink one. But I also get them confused with the Dodge Challenger, which I also see at work. I like the Camaro bumper. With the signature logo there because this is a uh, licensed product unfortunately the legs don't really clip in super well so there's always gonna be that tiny annoying gap judging you there and uh, it rolls all right take my uh, I guess I'll have to show you that all right let's see how they roll Mm. Now, let's see how a plastic dinosaur rolls. All right. Um, you can plug the gun on top. Is that supposed to be a throwback to mech tech? I'm really not sure. But it's a thing. It doesn't go anywhere else. <laughs> I dropped it. It's so small, it's impervious to impact damage. But, you know. Oh, I guess I should transform Bumblebee again. All right. <laughs> Here you go. Turns out this is also a Camaro, only the 2014 Camaro. While this is the 2011 Camaro. This is the one I see much more often. There you go. There's a, there's a size comparison. If you're not a fan of this color, first off. Fuck off. It was a masculine color way before it was associated with girls or femininity. But I guess there is also a version of this in the classic Bumblebee yellow with a different face with the battle mask that looks better. Better to cover up his face. And thankfully no squeaky squeaky radio talk. Oh, He, he still does that in Bumblebee. I don't know about... Uh, Rise of the Beast or whatever. I don't know. I feel like that's one of my catchphrases. I don't know. <laughs> I like this toy. <laughs> Mostly because it's laser beak. And I didn't have a movie laser beak. Because the only other one was also in Dark of the Moon and was that freaking bird made out of uh, shrapnel. Not the character shrap. I'm like, you know, literally look. I don't know. Hey, I said it again. Take a shot every time I. Yeah. Um. Is he worth it? Maybe. Maybe not. Depends on your feelings. On Dark of the Moon, this car mode, which is evidently a downscale of a deluxe one. Because alongside the port for this, there are those two holes for a much bigger weapon. That would look hilarious and oversized on this car mode. As if this doesn't look hilarious enough already. Somewhere it said it was Blast Effect compatible. Well, yeah, kind of. Eh. 
Sure, that counts. Crossover toy between <laughs> Legacy and the Studio Series. Huh. I'm going to put them next to Soundwave, the Bumblebee movie Soundwave. And I'm just going to sit on my shelf as a little pink Bumblebee. So uh, until next time, I need a cake. Keep it weird. Bye.